We are grateful to Sri Pranab Mukherjee, Honorable President of India, for having agreed to meet the officer trainees of the 35th batch of the Indian Economic Service. Sri Pranab Mukherjee, having himself spearheaded the Ministry of Finance in the past, which is also the cadre controlling authority of the Indian Economic Service, is aware of the role and responsibilities of the officers of the Indian Economic Service. In fact, it was under his stewardship that the Indian Economic Service celebrated its Golden Jubilee in the year 2011-12. The various events that had marked the celebration of the Golden Jubilee year would not have been possible for, but for the unstinted support and encouragement that the ser service received from him. Sir, we formally began our training on the 2nd of September 2013 with the foundation course at the Dr. Marichana Reddy Institute of Human Resource Development, Hyderabad, along with participants from the other central services too. These 100 days at the foundation course were indeed the most memorable part of our training, covering components such as classroom modules on subjects of critical relevance, week-long village visit, trek to Nilgiris, and a number of extracurricular and co-curricular activities. This was followed by our induction level training phase 1, which we are currently undergoing at the Institute of Economic Growth, Delhi, since last couple of months. Good morning to all of you, <coughs> Dr. Aurobin Madam, Secretary, Department of Economic Affairs, Sri Rajan Kumar, Advisor, Department of Economic Affairs, Officer Trainees of Indian Economic Service, Distinguished Participants, Ladies and Gentlemen. I welcome you to Rashtrapati Bhavan, just on the threshold of your entering into a new career. I welcome you to this service after obtaining your master's degree in MA in economics. You had to qualify and that qualifying examination is fiercely competitive. Your entry to the service speaks of your academic excellence and performance. I congratulate you. As Dr. Mayaram has pointed out that I am not unknown to this service because in my stint in the finance ministry and apart from that in various other economic ministries, I had been immensely benefited by the services from the officers belonging to Indian Economic Service. Therefore, I value this service and especially in the context of the new economic developments which are taking place all over the world. 